Good evening. A fleet of bidders will submit proposals for the right to build a cruise ship terminal on the spit, although the decision is still months away. The government only began environmental testing this week. For all its controversy, the cruise ship terminals also generated a massive wave of interest. Environmental studies into whether it's even viable have only just begun. Yet nine names, all heavyweights of the development industry, want to come on board. I was surprised with the number of consortia and uh, frankly the strength and calibre of the companies that have put forward some interest. Among the bidders, local developers Sunland and the Raptus Group construction giant Multiplex and several other consortia. One led by former National Party State Secretary Mike Evans, another a partnership with developer Divine and Gold Coast City Marina. Design and, and structure is, is important and the, the Gold Coast people deserve the best. Any decision is still months away, but opponents aren't relying on an adverse environmental impact study. They have another rally planned for the spit this Sunday. The more correct information the public get, the more they realise that uh, they've been sold the dummy pass on the benefits of cruise ships. Their main concerns, the loss of Doug Jennings Park and use of the seaway. No other city has a dive site as good as this for the amount of biodiversity, the fish life. With a big turnout, they hope the show of opposition will force the state government to sink the proposal. As part of the rally, surfers plan to form a line across the seaway a symbolic blockade for any cruise ships that could be coming this way. And people who travel as far away as Brisbane and interstate do not want a shipping terminal on this pristine diving, surfing, picnicking and family spot. The rally gets underway at midday. Ashley McDermott, 9 Gold Coast News.